Come ride the little train that is rolling down the tracks to the junction. Forget about your cares, it is time to relax at the junction. Lots of curves, you bet, and even more when you get to the junction. Petticoat Junction. There's a little hotel called the Shady Rest at the junction. Petticoat Junction. It is run by Kate. Come and be her guest at the junction. Petticoat Junction. And that's Uncle Joe. He's a moving kind of slow at the junction. Petticoat Junction. recording star in the world. What world? Well, can we have the record player back? No. I need the lobby for the uh, every other Wednesday afternoon discussion club. Are you going to make plans for the high school benefit? Mm-hmm. Have you got any ideas? We're having a square dance. Oh, you mean like do si do and away we go? <laughs> Very funny. Very funny. Mom, none of the kids will buy tickets to a square dance. Why don't we get King Ringading? We're having a square dance. That's for old folks. Oh, I didn't mean you. I meant the other old folks. I mean, the other old folks who aren't as old as you. I mean, it's going to be very interesting to see how you're going to get yourself out of this. How about getting King Ringading? I don't know why the ladies' club should take over the benefit anyway. It's for our high school football team. Well, who raised the money for the high school gymnasium equipment? The ladies club, but that doesn't mean that we have to at least take have a over. little faith in us. We have lots of faith in you, Mrs. Bradley. It's just that there must be a better idea than a square dance. How about getting King Ringading? <laughs> yeah, I think that'd be a good idea. Oh, darling, I don't want to go in. You know I hate to join anything. I know, Lisa, but this is a great honor. These women have asked you to join their club. This means they've accepted you as a member of the Hooterville community. Well, I'm very flattered, but Well, you I... should be. After all, they don't ask everybody to join their every other Wednesday afternoon discussion club. But I, I may not have anything to discuss every other Wednesday, and I may have something to discuss on the Wednesdays when they don't have any discussion, or I might have something to discuss on a Tuesday. Stop stalling. Oh, darling? If you're nervous, I'll go in with you. Oh, good. Come on. Kate, when is the meeting going to start? As soon as Mrs. Douglas gets here. Well, why do we have to wait for... Oh, Mrs. Douglas! Why, how nice to see thank you. you. I'm so glad you could come. Thank you. Mr. Douglas? Yes, thank you, thank you. I'll wait outside. No, no, no. Please, please stay. <sighs> oh, do. It would be so nice to have a man's point of view in our woman's discussion. <sighs> no, I think I'd better... Darling, just... do sit down. <laughs> The meeting will now come to order, and because we have a lot of business to discuss, we'll uh, dispense with the reading of the minutes. Just a minute, Kate. You cannot dispense with the reading of the minutes until somebody makes that motion and we all vote on it. Isn't that right, Mr. Douglas? Well, Mrs. Finney, according to parliamentary you procedure, see? you... <laughs> all right, Tilly. I make the motion. Point of order. The chairwoman cannot make a motion. Isn't that right, Mr. Douglas? Oh, I think that... Thank you. <laughs> I'll make the motion. I move that we dispense with the reading of the minutes. 
<laughs> All those in favor? The motion has been carried unanimously. Just a minute. It was not unanimous. Mr. Douglas did not have his hand. No, no, I'm not a member, Mr. Spinney. <laughs> Please, Mr. Douglas, I have the floor. Julie, <laughs> <laughs> how would you like to move a little closer to the gavel? <laughs> and now, we have to discuss some very important new business. What about old business? We'll talk about you later. <laughs> As you all know, uh, we have to raise some money for the Hooterville High football team. And uh, before we decide on a square dance, we're not going to have a square dance. Tilly, you're out of order. <laughs> oh, Madame Charwoman. Chairwoman. <laughs> yes, Mrs. Doug. Uh, once in New York, we raised $60,000 for an evening. $60,000? Well, how did you do that? Well, we auctioned off all our mink coats. <laughs> Are there any other suggestions? <laughs> now, one at a time, please. Order, order, one at a time. Uh, uh, Madam Chairwoman, I have a suggestion. You are not going to suggest that stale gay 90s party again. Stale? I'm glad you agree. <laughs> now, uh, to get back to the square dance. Nobody will ever come to a square dance. Will they, Mr. Douglas? Oh, I would imagine that... I'm glad you agree. <laughs> Oliver once had a great idea how to raise money. Uh, we all got together and chartered... They tried that at Pixley. They lost their shirts. <laughs> Tilly, would you please let Mr. Douglas tell us what he lost his shirt on? <laughs> if you're not that he lost his shirt, his shirt is probably... Oh, <laughs> go on, Mr. Douglas. <laughs> show that Mr. Douglas sneaked out at exactly 412. <laughs> a square dance. Well, it was either that or a gay 90s party and Mom won. You call that winning? <laughs> Boy, if she expects us to buy tickets for that. I've been thinking about King Ringading. Hmm, so have I. No, no, I mean about getting him to come here. Stop dreaming. He might. Well, after all, he's always doing benefits and we're the charter members of the Hooterville branch of the Ringading fan club. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to write him a letter and ask him. Great. And if you would appear at our benefit, it would make it a smashing success. And we'd be able to buy uniforms for the Hooterville High School football team. <laughs> they gotta be kidding, eh? Please. Wait a minute. Uh, Did you say Hooterville? I couldn't make up a name like that, King. <laughs> That's my alma mater. Come on. I graduated from Hooterville High. Who's that letter from? It's a Billy Joe, Bobby Joe, and Betty Joe Bradley. Those are Mrs. Bradley's daughters. Well, she was the one who encouraged me to sing. She even lent me the $20 so I could get to Chicago for my first audition. So I'll send her a check. No. No, if I can help them out, it's the least I can do. Look, King, every cocky mamie benefit would like to have King Ringading. They don't even know I'm King Ringading. Back there, everybody knows me as Herbie Willis. You promised never to use that hokey name. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's who I am. Herbie Willits. Look me up when you get downtown, baby. But it's not quite as bad out there. <laughs> oh. Yes, sir. What can I do? Herbie! Herbie Willis! Oh, how are you? Just fine, Miss Brad. Oh, my goodness, you look so prosperous. What have you been doing? Singing. Oh, I knew you'd be a success with that beautiful voice of yours. Oh, and this wonderful ballad you used to sing. Um, Take Me Home Again, Kathleen, and Home on the Range. <laughs> Not like those things that Ding-a-ling sings. Yes, uh, Ring-a-ding. Well, Ring-a-ding-a-ling-a-ling. -a -a his name is more musical than his voice. <laughs> you don't like him? Let me put it this way. If I were to meet him face to face, I'd... Well, first I'd cut his hair, and then I'd go to work on his vocal cords. <laughs> Well, tell me all about yourself. And and what are you doing back in Hooterville? Right now, I'm not quite sure. This is a stroke of fate? 
Huh? We're having a benefit to raise funds for the high school's athletic fund. So would you sing for us? Well, I don't think oh, I... Oh, please, Herbie. You'd make it such a success, and we need lots of money. Well, I'd like to, Oh, but... thank you, Herbie. Wait till I tell the kids. <laughs> Boys, girls. Boys and girls. I'd like you to meet a really famous singer, Herbie Willits. Uh, how do you... Who? Herbie Willits. <laughs> What's a Herbie Willits? <laughs> Wait till you children hear Herbie sing, Bury Me Not on the Lone Prairie. Why? We'll be seeing you. <laughs> uh, have you ever made any records? Uh, a few. What is your latest? If I told you the title, you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> Herbie's gonna sing at the benefit. But we already wrote King Ringading and asked him to appear. Oh, you'll never hear from him. Will they, Herbie? Under the circumstances, I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> from this valley they say you are going. We will miss your bright eyes. Three days of this. Can he play anything else? Oh, sure. Sweet Adeline, down by the old mill stream, and waltz me around again, Willie. <laughs> and those are the newer ones. Say, Case. You love me. Do not hasten to bid me adieu. It has such a beautiful voice, and it's so relaxing. So is chloroform. It works quicker. <laughs> well, did you find out how the ticket sale is going? Sam Drucker and Newt Kyler are having a ticket selling contest. Day before yesterday, Newt hadn't sold any, and Sam had one maybe. Now they're neck and neck. Sam's maybe conked out. <laughs> you just wait till the folks find out that Herbie's singing. The word's getting around. Kate, you ought to get wise. People don't like this sweet singing anymore. They want this rock and rye. I think the girls are right. You ought to try and get that King Ring-a-Ding. I told you he wouldn't come. The least he could have done is answer our letter. I'm resigning from the Ring-a-Ding fan club. Why? Because King Ring-a-Ding is a rat thing. Oh, wait a second. He's a double rat thing. <laughs> but he's wonderful. What did he do? We wrote him and asked him to appear at the benefit, and he ignored our letter. Maybe he has a good excuse. There's no excuse for rudeness. If he didn't want to come, the least he could do is write us and tell us. Girls, don't tell your mother, but he is here. Where? Right here. I'm King ring <laughs> <laughs> But I am! Herbie, you've been drinking too much of Mom's lemonade. <laughs> I tell you, I'm King ring -a -ding. I didn't want to say so because your mom can't stand him, and I owe her a big favor. Oh, Herbie, go away. <laughs> All right, I'll prove that I'm him. Look me up when you get downtown, baby. Downtown's where we're really gonna live it up. Hop on a bus that goes across town. Get yourself a transfer and come on. What a terrible down. imitation. Live it up. The worst. Live it up. Turn that record off. <laughs> well, that wasn't a record, that was Herbie. He's trying to imitate the world's greatest singer. Herbie, I'm surprised at you. You'll ruin your beautiful voice. But I was just. I never want to hear you do that again. Oh, man. <laughs> Joe, you can't send this message. Why not? It's insulting. What's insulting about it? King Ring-a-Ding, you are a bum. <laughs> well, he is. Well, you can't send this over the telegraph wires. Look, Sam, you're a public conveyance. You do as you're told. <laughs> Joe. Look, the girls wrote him a nice letter asking him to appear. And if he ain't got the common decency to answer him, I've got the common decency to call him a bum, which he is. <laughs> you want the benefit to be a success? Sure. All right, send it. Collect. <laughs> Did what? I sent a telegram to King Ringading. It'll burn his ears off. He'll show up. But we don't want him. We've got Herbie. But the kids want King Ringading. No offense, Herbie, but you just ain't a good singer. Show <laughs> Well, what I meant is that uh, he, he ain't a good singer in the kind of songs he sings. Why don't you stay out of this? I'm out of it. The King Ringading will show up, then they won't have to listen to Herbie. No offense, Herbie. Just that nobody likes to listen to you. I like to listen to him. Well, now's your chance. Sing something for her, Herbie. 
But wait till I get up to my room. <laughs> Look, Reese, did you get a wire from Hooterville? Yep. It cost me $8.50 to find out you're a bum. Well, I want you to send them an answer. I've got one all written, if the telegraph office will take it. No, not that kind of answer. Now, here's what I want you to say. This don't make sense. Okay, okay. I'll send it. The answer to my telegram arrived yet? What's your name? Please, Mr. Joker, it's important. Here. What's it say? Is he coming? Give me that. It's addressed to me. What does it say? It says King Ringending would like to appear at your benefit, but he won't appear on the same bill with a great singer like Herbie Willits. Sam, will you stop reading my telegrams before I open them? <laughs> I didn't read it. I just wrote it down when they phoned it in from Pixley. Is that what it says? Yes. Give me that. It ain't official until I read it. <laughs> Girls, the king won't appear if Herbie Willis sings on the program. Well, Herbie Willis, if he weren't here, we could get King Ring a day. What are we going to do? That's simple. We'll just get rid of Herbie Willis. Uncle Joe. No, not, not permanent. We'll just give him a temporary horse to combat. Uncle Joe, we can't do a thing like that. And what have you got in mind? Shh! You want to wake up the whole house? Will it work, Uncle Joe? Of course it'll work. Based on the scientific principle of blowing air over ice. What do you mean, will it give Herbie laryngitis? Of course. <laughs> I don't think we should do this. You want King Rangadang to come, don't you? Yes. A little laryngitis never hurt nobody. Turn on the fan. <laughs> That's about 32 degrees below Fahrenheit. <laughs> some more blankets on the beds. It was awful cold last night. You were probably dreaming there was cold air coming out of the furnace. Why would I dream that? I don't know. Must have been something you had. Morning, Herbie. Good morning, everybody. What's wrong with your boys? I've got laryngitis. I've got to send a telegram. <laughs> Too bad, Herbie. Now you won't be able to sing. Well, of course he will. We'll just doctor him up with some hot water and honey. Oh, that won't work. Why not? Well, uh... I'm allergic to honey. He's allergic to honey. He just think of something else. What do you want to do that for? So we can sing at the benefit. Oh, but, Mom, if Herbie can't sing, then we can get King Ringadine. Did either of you girls have anything to do with Herbie's... No, no. I always get laryngitis. If you can get King Ringadine... Getting. It says Herbie Willis has laryngitis. Send the king. Send them a telegram saying the king will appear. Well, how can the king appear if Herbie has laryngitis, which you don't have? Well, I do have it, but I don't. Man, those small towns must really swing. Give me another reading on that. Reese, now listen to me. I don't have laryngitis. They just think I have. I'm going to sing at the benefit. <laughs> Why, that double crossing. Let me waste all that ice on a fake case of laryngitis. Mom, do you know how much we've taken in for tonight? Enough for football uniforms, basketball uniforms, baseball equipment. And all because King Ringading's appearing. Well, I wouldn't plan on spending any of that money, not until you're sure he's going to be here. He'll be here. You coming, Herbie? No, I'd feel better staying here. Is that all the louder you can talk? Yeah. Come on out in the kitchen. I got something that might fix that throat up. Well, I don't know. Come on, I'll be right back. <laughs> I got a little homemade voice smoother in the basement. Well, I don't really want any. Well, of course you do. <laughs> Get you out of here. Let me out. I told you I could cure your 
your voice. But you don't understand. See you later. Come on, hurry out of here. What do you think you're doing, you idiot? Come on, open up. Come on, what is that? Kirby's taking a get your voice back exercise. Keep it up, Kirby. <laughs> for this evening is King Ring-a-Ding. <laughs> before we start the entertainment, we'll hear from Charlie Pratt and Floyd Smoot. Steam, cinders, and smoke. Steam, cinders, and smoke. It's a long, long track, but we're glad we're back to steam cinders and smoke. Steam cinders and smoke. Steam cinders and smoke. A pension plan for a railroad man is a mighty fine thing, they say. Did he get here yet? No. I told you. Oh, he'll get here. Where is he? Let me out! Let me out! <laughs> And now for their third number. We won't King Ring a Ding. We won't King Ring a Ding. You'll be here. Pension plan for a railroad man. Subjects. I was unavoidably detained. Never mind the excuses. Get out there and yah, yah, yah. You got a beautiful voice. How can you tell with all that screaming? I want to listen. <laughs> Thank you very much, loyal subjects. And for my next number, I'm going to sing my latest hit, Surfboard Rock. Isn't he the greatest? One thing I'll say for him, you can't tell when he's singing off key. <laughs> Joe, how could you do a thing like that, locking poor Herbie in the cellar? Oh, he was faking that laryngitis. He was going to foul up our benefit. Oh. <laughs> Herbie? Herbie, where are you? Herbie, what? Well, you, what are you? You, you, you? You're not Herbie. You're that ding-a-dong. Could you help me in, please? I'm stuck. Well, all right. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Herbie. Herbie? But this is... You mean you're him? Yes, ma'am. Why, Herbie Willis. Mrs. Bradley, nobody wants to hear Herbie Willis. Can you forgive me? Well, after all, you did raise a lot of money, and the kids like you. Thank you. Herbie, could you do me a favor? Sure, anything. Would you sing one of the songs you sang tonight? You mean you like them? No, I just want to know what the words are. Cool it, babe. Let's make it a day. Don't fall. Listen to Herbie doing that corny imitation for Mom. Downtown Square, we're really gonna live it up.
function. This has been a Filmways presentation.